the sex offender thing, um, like they send like just a blast to everybody. Like, yo, I think they put it like maybe the local paper, like, yo, it's a nigga next door. He did some shit. Now, um, obviously some of that could really come from some heinous shit, like fucking kids. Right. Um, and some of it, from what I've heard, like you could be classified as a sex offender. Like, uh, um, I hear in certain places, if you get caught peeing outside, you could get classified as a sex offender. Real talk. Like, for example, like, it's, so you're, you're exposing your dick, right? In public, um, they consider that a lewd act and they consider something that could be um, in line with being a sex offender. So, you know, um, I think the situation with him, I don't want to really get back into it. They said that um, he... I don't, I don't think it was statutory rape. I think they said, like, he just he, he raped him. I don't know what, bro. Like, I'm going to just leave that alone. And, you know, yeah, I'll leave that alone, bro. I don't know. Anyway, um, I really, uh, from what I've heard, Nicki Minaj and him, they've been trying to get that, you know, the original sentence thrown out that they don't have to do the sex offender thing. Keep in mind, Nicki Minaj is married to him. It's like Nicki Oraj Minaj. I don't even know her full name. Petty. So Nicki's married to him. Nicki lives at very, you know, these nice swank upscale mansions. He lives with her. And what happens is, you know, when you have to register as a sex offender, you can't just register a P.O. box. You got to register where you're at most of the time. So she's at Nicki's house most of the time. And I ain't going to lie to you. I won't mention anything but this um there was a time by the way he has he has registered by the way i think still he, he's registered now but like he he lists Nicki minaj's mansion so you can find Nicki minaj's mansion by looking up him so which which i think is like you know it makes it probably a little bit difficult for Nicki, but Nicki does love him this is this is a father to her child her husband and um i think they're still in a plight to try to get this like overturned now he doesn't have to be this but while he's still considered a sex offender, he has to register. And because he didn't register for a while, this is why, you know, um, they've they've sentenced him to probation and electric monitoring. And I think home detention. So we got to be at the crib for a year, right? Um, the, the, I guess they're going to monitor him through an ankle monitor or some type of other device. And he's on probation, which I think if you're a sex offender, I feel like you're already on probation because... The amount of uh, restrictions they got on you is crazy. For example, um, I believe one of the restrictions is y'all can't even live anywhere near um, a particular school. All right, anyway, we'll move on. Somebody said, um, did Megan silence me? Uh, um, I think there's a little smear campaign spread, which, by the way, you know, just very interestingly enough is that I start looking at things differently just based on, but like think about the lie they spread on me. Like, yo, like very heinous, right? Um, regardless, you know, I'm, I'm always unwavering and, um, I'm gonna always keep going forward because I'm not doing nothing but spreading the truth. And, um, I had a podcast coming out about Meg that I basically scrapped. I said, you know what? You're barking up a tree that is willing. They're looking at what you might be costing their brand and costing them, and they're willing to support whatever against you to try to take you down or invalidate your voice. And, um, you know, I've thought I've experienced, like, you know, backlash before, but this was, you know, um, just nasty, just like nasty, just disgusting. You know, it, it, certain shit you don't want to even be associated with your name because, like, one of the things you learn from any great successful men is, like, yo, and, and you, I think it's in the 40 Laws of Power, reputation is key, protect it with your life. Um so I, I definitely thought twice. I'm like, maybe I should just, like, leave this Meg shit alone until I get the, the like, I get the court hearing about what happened or what they're going to do with Tory. And I then really thought, I said, nah, bro, I'm not being vindictive. 
I don't think I'm going at Meg. I'm just trying to spread what I believe is the truth. And what I mean by by the truth is I'm I'm being unbiased. I've said stuff that doesn't make Tori look good or whatever the case is. And I, and I guess like you know to make a long story short, um, there is a podcast going to come out. I've made the decision. I'm going to put it out regardless. Um, I'm going to address what the DA mentioned my name. They they mentioned my name right before, like right before all that shit happened. And and um, I was like, fuck, let me just not respond. Well, I did respond, but I was like, but anyway, I'm putting that out probably in the day, in a day or two, latest next Monday, right? And I hope you guys support it. I'm I'm gonna hang my hat on my integrity. I'm gonna hang my hat on the fact that I think y'all y'all know there're gonna be people and entities that don't like it, and um, whatever comes with it. Fuck it, you know? So, Meg did not silence me. I am not anti-Meg. I'm not pro-Tory. I am pro-truth. Okay? So, I'm all about going into the nuance of things, going into the, 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 the reality of things. And by the way, at the moment I was about to not put that podcast out, I, I remember just what happened to me. And I said... I have millions of people now judging me off a headline without understanding context, without understanding the reality, without understanding the truth. If I shut the fuck up about putting out context, putting out proof, putting out these things that are nuance based details, the same thing that happened to me, I have now allowed to happen to someone else. So, the podcast is coming out. I'm sorry to say, and you know, and, and like you guys know, um, I have full 100 percent control of anything that comes out um, on my podcast or any other platform I have. And fuck it. So, 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 so it's gonna come out. I have court audio. That's the first thing I'm gonna hear. I have court audio, and I'm pretty sure they'll get mad about that. I have court audio. Of them bringing me up. And we'll play it. I know, I know y'all gonna be like how I got it right. I was in court. Maybe with a little disguise. Anyway we'll get to that. Um, Alright cool. So. This situation. The other thing I.